Isn't Angela's casting great? Well. You can submit yourself through your own auditions. You don't have to rely on an agent. It's a great way to start out. I guess. Hey, what's wrong? Listen to this. Grossly overweight woman to lie naked on a table and have sushi served off her jiggling belly. Prefer Asian, but any ethnicity welcome. The joke is that she's really fat. Rate, copy, and credit. It's for a web series called Dirt Poor Dudes. That sounds like such a piece of trash. Catherine? Surprise, I'm directing. Congratulations. Oh, they're poor dudes? Yeah, it's two college guys just making dick jokes the whole time. I thought the whole point of directing was to change how women are perceived. I know, but it's my first directing credit. So while I have absolutely no creative control, I'm just stuck on this for now and this Low budget non union trash. Trash. Well, you'll be glad to know that Dirt Poor Dudes isn't the only project with terrible casting notices. Listen to this Fat best friend, overweight, sad looking woman. They don't even have names. Jeez, real vote of confidence from the industry. This is bleak. Oh. What? A feature film called The Deception of Love. Role of Sarah, principal, female, 20s, any ethnicity, beautiful, the romantic summer fling of our main character, great role for a dramatic actress, must be able to cry for a scene, no nudity necessary, mm. any body type, $400 a day. I mean, it's not a comedy, but it sounds like the only role on here worth anything. Yeah. You should submit for it. Hey, are you auditioning for the role of Sarah too? Oh, did you just move here? Yeah, how did you know? So no one told you how to read a casting notice? Well, actually, my roommate is Catherine. When a casting notice says beautiful, they mean thin. I'm just looking out for you since clearly you don't have any experience yet. I studied voice and acting at prestigious schools in Europe And my mom's in entertainment and my dad is Dennis Quaid I've been in shows and movies and I've won awards in London I've been nominated twice for Best Actress of the Year I booked roles on Modern Family and Scrubs and shows like Colony And starred in episodes of Law and Order SVU Tried out for the Lego movie also, Sean the Sheep the movie Got a starring role in Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too All guys wanna fuck me and all girls just wanna be me I'm distracting you from practicing Did I get in your head? You've got a pretty face, I can see you on TV You look better in the background or as woman number three Terry, we're ready for you Break legs Chuck LaSalle, producer-director of the project. Hey, nice to meet you. You're uh, Terry Walker, right? Y yes, yeah. Yes. Headshot? Uh, right, duh. This script is in development. We just want to see what you bring to the table. Okay. Can you slate? Like a cheese board? <laughs> Say your name and roll. Uh, hi, my name is Terry. Uh, to the camera. Walker, for the role of Sarah. Should I stand? Whatever feels natural. Okay. I just don't know what to do. You can't stay with her. 
You know that. You can't make a woman want to be a mother. But I love her. And I love you. The thought of never being able to see you happy again would be more than I could bear. You've been my best friend my whole life. Why can't you just... It's not that simple. It's perfectly simple, Martin. Kiss me. Great. That was great. Thank you. Are you sure? I feel like I could do it better. Well, we've seen all we need to see. Thank you, Terry. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, sorry. I need my keys to get into my car. Probably got another ticket. Okay. Bye. <laughs> sorry. Don't be mean. Well, she did it's been a long day. She did the God spell. Who didn't do God spell? How'd your audition go, sweetheart? I don't know. Dennis Quaid's daughter was there, and she just kept talking about her accomplishments. And... It just really threw me off. I'm oh, sorry, kitty. Well, oh, at least you met somebody famous. Yeah, I think she may have been lying about that. I don't know. I wasn't going to go on these other auditions today, and now I just feel like I kind of have to. You'll do great, hon. Break a leg. Thanks, Mom. Hi, I'm Terry, reading for the role of fat best friend. Gee, I'd love to give you dating advice, but what do I know? I'm just your fat friend. All I'm thinking about is pudding. <laughs> this is for the role of overweight, sad-looking woman. I just need a sec so I can get into character, okay? I'm too fat. I wish I had a... Magic pill that would solve all my problems, make me lose all my weight, and make my husband sleep with me with the lights on. Hi, I'm Terry. I'm reading for the role of Pizza Delivery Girl. Did someone order a pizza? Hey, it looks like you guys are having a party. Do you want to stuff my crust? Is this a porno? Yeah, it's a porno. Oh my god, I thought this was a Pizza Hut commercial. No, it's a porno. Oh, it says commercial with a... Because it's a porno. Ugh. Do you want the part or? No, thank you. Okay. That audition was awful. Are there no good roles written for women? Maybe Greg was right. A job like that, you start at the bottom, but you work your way up and maybe get promoted every couple of years until you're running the place. But here, it's like you're spending your entire life interviewing for a job you're probably never going to get. And if you get it, you may only end up working a day or two, and then it's back to square one. No one has any job security. Shows get canceled. Pilots don't get picked up. You know, you should look into doing some background work. That way you can get some experience on set for now and make a little extra cash. I'm gonna do some background work. money doing background work. How? I called out of work for three days to be on set. Oh, no, I said extra cash, Terry, not main source of income. I can't keep doing this on my own. What I really need is an agent. You just need to give it a little time. Well, how did you meet your agent? Joanne? 
My old roommate Roxy introduced us. Wait, seriously? So you could introduce me? I don't think that's a good idea. Joanne's the reason why Roxy's hooked on pills. Come on, I need it. I'm going crazy with the lack of progress here. She just wouldn't be a good fit for you, okay? What She's... does fit have to do with it? I just need someone to submit me for jobs. Fine, I'll give you her number. Just don't say I didn't warn you. 